Before we look at the CVE dashboard feature, we'll give a quick background on Jadian's device platform intelligence. Here we see a demo system with a few sensors installed. If we look at this sensor, here are all the nodes associated with this sensor. You have information such as uh, the node type or node category, status of the node, a connectivity graph, IPv4, IPv6 information, MAC addresses, any known anomalies, applicable enforcement policy, node tag or security tag if applicable, and platform. If we look closer at the platform information, we can see there's uh, more detail when you actually click on the hyperlink for the platform. That will take you to the Genian's Device Platform Intelligence database. Here you will find very detailed information such as a physical image of the device. Again, you'll have the make and model of the device, a link to the manufacturer's uh, website for that particular device. Um, we'll tell you what kind of device it is. If there's end of sale or end of life information, that will be populated. What kind of network connections the device has, fingerprinting information, and the manufacturer's homepage, as well as where the headquarters is located and if there's any acquisitions taking place. Further down, you'll also find that there are CVEs pre-correlated with each platform ID. So this platform may be susceptible to these CVEs and therefore they are linked to the platform. Now, the CVE feature itself utilizes this information inside of the device platform intelligence database and populates it inside of the UI of your Genie and NAC system. So if we scroll down and we click on CVE, what we'll see here uh, is all the CVEs displayed, um, in this case for the last seven days. And this is pre-populated, and we'll show you how you can customize this in a dashboard in a moment. Um, so here you have the status by manufacturer, so all the different manufacturers that are affected by all these CVEs, as well as a CVE by platform. So the different platforms, which we just looked at an example of a platform, and those particular platforms um, and how they are affected. And then, of course, you just have a general CVE status right here with all the different nodes that might be affected. And then you have the count by severity, and you can click on those. So let's take a look. We have one high CVE right here. If we click on the nodes, it'll take us to the nodes that are affected, uh, uh, that can be linked to that by platform. So when we take a closer look at these, we'll see there's actually uh, four nodes here. And um, these are two different MAC addresses that had this IP. One is active, one is not. Um, so we have the information about the nodes here. And these are Linux nodes which share that uh, vulnerability. So what you can do here is you could block one of these nodes manually or you could actually select all of the nodes and also block those. Um, however, long term, it may be better to create a policy. So if you create a policy, it will actually group all nodes together that come on the network in the future um, that meet this um, CVE ID. So what we'll do is we'll copy that CVE ID and we will go to policy and we'll go to node group and we will create a new node group and give it an ID. And then for the uh, condition, we're actually going to add and we're going to select from this drop down where there's a whole bunch of different things you could select from. We'll go ahead and select platform security vulnerability um, and you could match on any type of criteria here, but we will do ID contains. We'll plug in the value of the CVE we were just looking at. We will click Add. We're going to um, save that and 
and apply that. So we just created this group. Okay, so now if I search these node groups, I'll find the one I just created. So here we go. Um, this is the one we uh, just created. And we'll actually have two there, so we'll double check and make sure. Okay, here's the one we created. We'll click on that group. Let's go back to that list again. Okay, we'll click on the number of nodes. So here you're gonna see the uh, number of nodes that are affected. Um, again, you've got some devices that have rotated around. You can age out these a, uh, IP addresses by adjusting timers if you want to purge inactive um, IP addresses. But all these devices, and you'll notice of course, these all have a Linux platform. All these devices now are pre-grouped together um, inside of this group. And then you can create enforcement policies and uh, you can assign permissions, block devices, uh, do whatever you would like. So now we've demonstrated how device platform intelligence can obtain this information, how it's displayed inside of the dashboard. We can also create um, a custom dashboard. So if you wanted to add a tab, we have multiple tabs here um, that are pre-populated inside of your system with different kinds of information about the devices um, and grouped together in different ways, how these nodes are represented. What we can do is create a new dashboard. So if we click Create Dashboard, we'll call it CVE. Give it a layout here. And then what we'll do is we can add um, any number of widgets here. So if we click Add Widgets, we have 127 different widgets to choose from, all different kinds of categories depending on what is important to you and what you'd like to see in your dashboard. So we'll type in CVE, Search, and then here's three of the widgets. So we're going to just click these, add these widgets, and then we're going to customize these. So uh, we'll just say uh, seven days. We'll leave these both at seven days. And then here's all the information you see. This one as well is set for uh, seven days. So this information that you're seeing now is for seven days. Um, and this matches the other information. However, you can customize this. So if you wanted to see this instead for 30 days, You could do that as well. And then, of course, here. Save that. So now you have uh, additional information that spans back 30 days. Um, and then if you, you know, click on any of these, it will take you to all of the indiv individual CVEs that are critical. Um, and then you could do searches on platforms, manufacturers. You can drill down. You can clip on the hyperlinks, get more information and details um, about the scoring and the severity, as well as the platforms, references, um, articles and then any CPE matching as well.